Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel, Creative Grandma. I want to welcome you to part two of our crochet along for making the fruit bunnies. Now you can see three different ones right here. In part one, we learned how to make the body. In part two, we're going to continue where we left off. We're going to make the nose and we're going to make the head. Now, this is a free pattern from Premier Yarns. I have special permission from Premier Yarns to film this video for this tutorial. So you can get the free pattern on their website. I'll have a link that will take you directly to the pattern. You can print that out and you can follow along with the video. Now, this crochet along is a very extensive crochet along. I am going in detail about every step I'm showing you the pattern. I'm showing you how to read the pattern and how to do the crochet tutorial. So for today's crochet tutorial, you can see the bunnies. You can choose which colors you want to use for which part. And then page two, you're going to see all the information. And I went over all this in part one of the video. Page three of the instructions, we already did the entire page three of instructions for the body. And now we're on page four. This is where we're going to pick up where we left off. We work this entire portion up here for the body. And part two, we're going to start with the nose, make the nose, and then we're going to make the head. So when you look at the photograph, you'll see that the banana bunny, I'm using the multi-color. So you can choose a solid color or whatever color you wish to make the head and the nose for your bunny. So let's go ahead and begin part two where we're going to start making the nose. Now I do suggest you get an ink pen to mark off your rounds as we do them. Even a highlighter really helps to keep track of where you're going in the pattern. So let's zoom up, take a look at the instructions of what we're going to do now. Again, we are starting with the nose. We already done this part. We're starting with the nose and it says to make a magic circle. Now it's up to you in the beginning of the instructions that shows you how to make a magic circle. I do not use a magic circle. I use a chain too. So I'm going to do it my way for this video. So the first thing we're going to do, let me move my paper. So the first thing you want to do is pick the color you want to make for your nose and head. Then you're going to join your yarn to your hook using whichever method you prefer. So to begin, you either make the magic circle or you can chain two. I'm chaining two. One and two. Now you also want to grab a stitch marker before you begin because we're going to mark the beginning of each round. We do not join the rounds, so it's very important that you use a stitch marker in the first stitch of every round. For round one, it is telling us to work six single crochet in the ring. So you can either put them in the magic ring or I'm going to put six single crochet into the second chain from hook. So I'm going to skip that first chain, insert into the second chain, yarn over, pull through that chain. You have two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. That's how you make a single crochet. And I want to remind everyone all my crochet tutorials are filmed using USA crochet terms. So you want to take your stitch marker and place it right into that first stitch right away because if you do not mark the beginning stitch and you continue to work around, you're going to have a hard time figuring out where you are. It's just about impossible to find that first stitch. So that is one of six. Insert back into that second chain from hook. Work your second single crochet. Insert back into that same chain work your third single crochet. Insert back into that same chain, work a fourth single crochet. Insert back into that chain, work your fifth single crochet. And then back into that same chain. It's hard to see, but if you just go at the base of the stitch, you're going right into that chain. Work your sixth single crochet. So looking at your work, it's a little hard to see with this multicolored yarn, but here's one, two, three, four, five, and six stitches. So grab your instructions, go to the nose, check off that you did round one, 
check off that you verified you have six single crochet stitches around and then I'm just going to highlight it to know that I done that round and the highlighter just lets me know immediately where my next round is so now we're going to do round two so looking at round two again if it's in brackets that means you're going to repeat it as many times as it tells you and it's telling us to repeat what's in the brackets twice so we're going to work one single crochet because there's no number in front of it it means just one stitch so we're going to single crochet into the first stitch then we're going to work three single crochet into the next stitch and then one single crochet into the next stitch and we're going to do that two times we're going to increase by four stitches and you're going to have a total of 10 stitches at the end of round two so let's go ahead and begin round two to begin round two you want to go into that first stitch you want to grab both of those top two loops and you're going to work one single crochet you're going to remove your stitch marker, bring it up and put it right into that first stitch. Now we're going to work three single crochet into the next stitch. Just look for those two loops. When you look at your work, you're going to see like a teardrop. And again, I know this multicolored yarn is hard to see. Go to your next stitch, insert under the top two loops, work three single crochet. One, into the same stitch work your second single crochet into the same stitch work your third single crochet then you're going to work one single crochet into the next stitch and then we're going to repeat one single crochet into the next stitch and then three single crochet into the next stitch one insert back into that same stitch work your second single crochet and then insert back into that same stitch and work your third single crochet then you're going to end with a single crochet into the next stitch when you count your stitches around you're going to have a total of 10 stitches Grab your instructions, check off round two is finished. Make sure you confirm you have 10 single crochet stitches. And then I'm just going to use my highlighter and mark that that round is finished. For round three, again, our instructions are in brackets. So whatever's in the brackets, we're going to repeat two times. We're going to increase by four stitches. You're going to single crochet in each of the next two stitches and then work three single crochet into the next stitch and then single crochet in each of the next two stitches and we're going to do that two times so let's begin round three to begin round three we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next two stitches insert into that first stitch with the stitch marker work a single crochet then bring that stitch marker up and mark that very first stitch. Then you're going to work a single crochet into the next stitch. Now make sure that you pay attention where your stitches are. You're going to see a little bit of this stitch we just worked in. You want to go to the next stitch. Insert into that stitch, work one single crochet. Now we're going to work three single crochet into the next stitch. Insert under the top two loops work three single crochet one insert back into that same stitch work your second single crochet insert back into that same stitch work your third single crochet now we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next two stitches single crochet into the next stitch that's one single crochet into the next stitch and that's two and now we're going to do that again you're going to single crochet in each of the next two stitches insert into the next stitch work a single crochet single crochet into the next stitch now we're going to work three single crochet into the next stitch insert under the top two loops work three single crochet one insert back into that same stitch 
work your second single crochet. Insert back into that same stitch, work your third single crochet. Now we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. Insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet. Insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet. And then you'll notice we're back over to our beginning stitch. So grab your instructions, check off round three is finished. You should have a total of 14 stitches. Make sure you confirm that before you begin the next round. And then just use your highlighter and mark off that round is finished. So now for round four, again, it's in the brackets. We're going to single crochet in each of the next three single crochet, and then three single crochet in the next single crochet, and then single crochet in each of the next three single crochet. We're going to do that twice. You're going to increase by four stitches, and you're going to have a total of 18 stitches at the end of round four. So let's begin round four. To begin round four, we're going to insert into that first stitch, work a single crochet. Move your stitch marker up to that first stitch. Single crochet into the next stitch. Single crochet into the next stitch. Now we're going to work three single crochet into the next stitch, insert under the top two loops, work three single crochet one, two, back into that same stitch, work your third single crochet. Now we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Single crochet into the next stitch, that's one of three. Single crochet into the next stitch, that's two of three. Single crochet into the next stitch, and that is three of three. So now we're going to do that again. We're going to work one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet. That's one of three. Single crochet into the next stitch. That's two of three. Single crochet into the next stitch, and that is three of three. Now we're going to work three single crochet into the next stitch, insert under the top two loops, work three single crochet. One, into that same stitch, work your second single crochet. Into that same stitch, work a third single crochet. Now we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet. That's one of three. Single crochet into the next stitch. That's two of three. Single crochet into the next stitch. And that is three of three. So when you look at your work, this is what the nose is going to look like. You should have a total of 18 stitches. So do a double stitch count. Just make sure you have 18 stitches around. You're going to go to your instructions, check off round four is finished. You confirmed you have 18 single crochet. And then I'm just going to highlight that round four is finished. So the one thing they do not tell you is when you look at your work, you're going to see that this stitch is high in the air. You can see it's up there pretty high. So when I fasten off, I always slip stitch into that first stitch. Insert into the stitch, yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. And you can see how it pulls this stitch down and blends that nice and even. So I'm just going to take my stitch marker out because our nose is finished. Now the other thing before you fasten off is it does not tell you to leave a sewing length. It's a lot easier to leave a sewing length, so just pull off some yarn that goes around the nose probably three or four times just so you have extra and then I'm just going to fasten off because when I sew my nose onto the head I want my yarn to already be attached to the nose it makes it so much easier than fastening off and trying to join another strand of yarn but it's all up to you you can do it whichever way you prefer I chain two when I fasten off and then I pull that yarn through and then I just 
pinch, pull down, and it usually forms a knot, but in this case it's given me trouble, so I'll just pull that down through like that when I go to sew it on and pull it under a little bit. Now you can chain one instead of two, just be careful when you're pulling that down. So our nose is finished, this is what it looks like. You can see it has a little bowl shape and we'll be stuffing that and adding it to the face. So go ahead and set your nose aside and now we're going to begin the head. So now we're ready to begin the head. So when you look at the instructions, it's going to say make the magic ring, which I do not use. I use a chain two. And then it's telling us to work rounds one through eight of the body. So you may want to print an extra couple copies of this pattern because we already made the body. We already checked it off and highlighted it. So it's a little bit easier if you have a plain copy without the highlights and marks. Now the one thing about this pattern is sometimes when you get a pattern you have to assume things. So when I'm looking at the head it's not telling me am I working from the top of the head to the bottom of the head or are we working from the bottom of the head to the top of the head. So when you look over the instructions it's telling us to work down to round 17 and then it tells us to sew the nose to the head leaving an opening to stuff the nose and then continue working on. So I am going to assume that we are working from the top of the head down to the bottom of the head and these are just common things that sometimes they don't think about putting in the instructions that are helpful to new beginners. So again we are starting with the head so grab an Another copy of the body and we're going to go back to the body and we're going to repeat rounds one through eight. So these are the rounds that we're going to complete for the head. So let's go ahead and begin round one of the head. To begin the head, we are working round one and eight of the body, so we're going back to the body, and you can begin with a magic ring. Now it tells you right up here how to do the magic ring, but instead of doing the magic ring, I am chaining two. So I already have my yarn attached to my hook, and instead of doing the magic ring, I just chain two. One and two. I'm going to work all six of my single crochet into the second chain from hook. Make sure you grab your stitch marker to mark the first stitch of each round. You're going to insert your hook into the second chain from hook or in your magic ring and you're going to work a total of six single crochet. So that is one. As soon as you make your first stitch make sure you put that stitch marker into the first stitch to mark that round. So that is one of six. Insert back into that same chain. Work your second single crochet. Insert back into that same chain. Work your third single crochet. Into the same chain. Work your fourth single crochet. Into the same chain. Work your fifth single crochet. And then into the same chain. Work your sixth single crochet. Now I know this is hard to see with this yarn, but you can see the top of your stitch. Just make sure you count one, two, three, four, five, and six stitches. Then grab your instructions, check off round one is finished, verify you have six single crochet made, and then I'm just going to highlight that I did that round. Round two, we're going to work two single crochet in each single crochet around. We're increasing by six stitches. You're going to have a total of 12 single crochet when we're done with round two. So let's go ahead and begin round two. For round two, you're going to insert into the first stitch where you have your stitch marker, work a single crochet. Then move that stitch marker up to that very first stitch. Then you're going to work a single crochet back into that first stitch. Go to your next stitch, insert under the top two loops, and work two single crochet. One and two. Into the next stitch, insert under the top two loops, work two single crochet. One and two. 
two single crochet into the next stitch one and two two single crochet into the next stitch one and two and then we're over to our last stitch insert into the last stitch work two single crochet one and two and then we're back over to our stitch marker so you want to grab your instructions do a double stitch count make sure you have 12 single crochet stitches mark off round two is finished confirm you have 12 single crochet made and then go ahead and highlight round two is finished so now we're ready to begin round three. Round three, you're going to see a star, which means you're going to repeat from the star to the end where it says repeat around. So you're going to work two single crochet into the next stitch and then one single crochet into the next single crochet. And then you're going to repeat from the star. So you go back to the star and repeat that around. You're going to increase by six stitches. So you're going to have a total of 18 single crochet around. So let's begin round three. To begin round three, you're going to insert into the very first stitch where you have your stitch marker, work a single crochet. Then move your stitch marker up to that very first stitch. Very important step. Make sure you do it right away so you don't forget. You're going to work one more single crochet back into that first stitch. You're going to work one single crochet into the next stitch. And then you're just going to repeat two single crochet into the next stitch, one and two, and then one single crochet into the next stitch. And that is the end of the repeat. Let's do it again. Two single crochet into the next stitch, one and two, one single crochet into the next stitch, two single crochet into the next stitch, one and two, and then one single crochet into the next stitch. So I'm just going to work this round right around with you, two single crochet into the next stitch, one and two and then one single crochet into the next stitch. We have one repeat to go. You're going to work two single crochet into the next stitch, one and two, and then one single crochet into that very last stitch, and then you're back over to your stitch marker. Then grab your instructions, check off, round three is finished, Go over, verify that you have 18 single crochet, just do a double stitch count. Then I'm just going to mark this with my highlighter that I finished that round. Now we're ready to begin round four. So again, you're going to see the star, which means you're going to repeat from the star over to where it says repeat. We're going to work two single crochet into the next single crochet and then one single crochet in each of the next two single crochet stitches. You're going to repeat from the star around. It just means you're going to repeat this segment of the instructions over and over until you get back to the beginning of the round. You're going to increase by six stitches, so you'll have a total of 24 stitches at the end of round four. So let's begin round four. To begin round four, we're going to work two single crochet into the first stitch, insert into the first stitch, work a single crochet. Then move that stitch marker up to the very first stitch. Very important that you move this stitch marker up into that first stitch. You're going to work one more single crochet back into that first stitch. Then we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. Single crochet into the next stitch. That's one. Single crochet into the next stitch, and that's two. Then you're going to start your repeat. You're going to work two single crochet into the next stitch, one and two, 
and then one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. Insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet. That's one of two. Insert into the next stitch under the top two loops, work a single crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. Let's do it one more time together. Into the next stitch, work two single crochet. One, back into that same stitch, work a second single crochet. Then you're going to work one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. Single crochet into the next stitch, and then single crochet into the next stitch. So go ahead and continue, work two single crochet into the next stitch, and then one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. If you need additional help, just click back on the video, repeat that around, and I'll meet you at the end of round four. I'm over at the end of round four. You should have a total of 24 stitches around, so just do a double stitch count, confirm your stitches, then grab your instructions, Check off that round four is finished. Confirm that you have 24 single crochet stitches. And then just using my highlighter, I'm going to highlight that I made that round. So now we're ready to begin round five. So if you look at the instructions, you're going to see it starts with the star. So you know this is going to be a repeat. We're going to work two single crochet in the next single crochet, and then one single crochet in each of the next three single crochet. We're going to repeat from the star. So you're going to go back to the beginning, repeat the segment of the instructions over and over until you get back to the beginning of the round. You're going to increase by six stitches and you'll have a total of 30 single crochet when you're done with round five. So let's go ahead and begin round five. For round five, you're going to insert into that first stitch and we're going to work a single crochet. Then we're going to move that stitch marker up to the very first stitch of the round. You're going to work one more single crochet back into that first stitch. And now we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Single crochet into the next stitch, that's one. Single crochet into the next stitch, that's two. Single crochet into the next stitch, and that's three. Now we're going to do the repeat again two single crochet into the next stitch, one, and two. Then one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet, that's one. Single crochet into the next stitch, that's two. Single crochet into the next stitch, and that's three. Let's do the repeat one more time together. You're going to work two single crochet into the next stitch, one, insert back into the same stitch, work your second single crochet. Now you're going to work one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Single crochet into the next stitch, that's one, single crochet into the next stitch, that's two, and then single crochet into the next stitch, and that's three. So go ahead and continue. If you need additional help, just click back on the video. You're going to work two single crochet into the next stitch, and then one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Repeat that around until you get back to your stitch marker, and I'll meet you at the end of round five. I'm over at the end of round five. You should have a total of 30 single crochet stitches. Just do a double stitch count. Now I know my videos are extremely long for this project. I just wanna to try to teach people how to read instructions and how to do amigurumi because so many people wanna learn. So if you're a more experienced crocheter, you can always work ahead. So grab your instruction sheet again, check off round five is finished. Just come over, verify your stitch count is 30 single crochet, make sure you have 30 single crochet stitches, and then check that off. And then if you have a highlighter, just make sure you highlight that we did that round. Now we're going to begin round six. 
Round six, again, you're going to see the star, so that means you're going to repeat this portion of the instructions. You're going to work two single crochet into the next stitch, and then one single crochet in each of the next four single crochet. You're going to repeat from the star, so you go back to the star, repeat this over and over until you get back to your beginning stitch marker. You're going to increase by six stitches, so you're going to have a total of 36 stitches at the end of round six. So let's go ahead and begin round six. To begin round six, you're going to insert into the first stitch, work a single crochet. Then very important, move that stitch marker up immediately to that first stitch. Then you're going to work a single crochet back into that first stitch. Now we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next four stitches single crochet into the next stitch that's one single crochet into the next stitch that's two single crochet into the next stitch that's three and then single crochet into the next stitch and that's four then you're going to do the repeat again two single crochet into the next stitch that's one insert back into that same stitch work your second single crochet then we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next four stitches. Single crochet into the next stitch, that's one. Single crochet into the next stitch, that's two. Single crochet into the next stitch, that's three. And then single crochet into the next stitch, and that's four. And that is the end of the repeat. Let's do it one more time together. Two single crochet into the next stitch, that's one. Single crochet back into that same stitch, and that's two. Now you're going to work one single crochet in each of the next four stitches. Single crochet into the next stitch, that's one. Single crochet into the next stitch, that's two. Single crochet into the next stitch, that's three and then single crochet into the next stitch, and that's four. So go ahead and continue, work two single crochet into the next stitch, and then one single crochet in each of the next four stitches. Repeat that around, and I'll meet you at the end of round six. I'm over at the end of round six. This is what your work should look like. You should have a total of 36 stitches around and you should be back over to the beginning of your stitch marker. So grab your instructions, check off round six is finished, verify you have 36 single crochet, and then again I'm just going to highlight that round six is finished. Now we're going to do round seven. Again, you're going to see the star, so that means this is going to have a repeat. So we're going to work two single crochet into the next stitch, and then one single crochet in each of the next five single crochet stitches. You're going to repeat from the star, so you go back to the star and you repeat this over and over until you get all the way around your work back to your beginning stitch marker. You're going to increase by six stitches and you'll have a total of 42 single crochet at the end of round seven. So let's begin round seven. For round seven, we're going to insert into the first stitch, work a single crochet. Then move that stitch marker up immediately to that first stitch single crochet back into that very first stitch and now we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next five stitches insert into the next stitch work a single crochet that is one of five single crochet into the next stitch that is two of five single crochet into the next stitch that is three of five single crochet into the next stitch that's four of five, and then single crochet into the next stitch, and that is five of five. So let's do the repeat again. You're going to work two single crochet into the next stitch, one, insert back into that same stitch, work a single crochet, and that's two. Now we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next five stitches. Single crochet into the next stitch, that's one of five. Single crochet into the next stitch. That's two of five. 
single crochet into the next stitch that's three of five single crochet into the next stitch that's four of five and then single crochet into the next stitch and that is five of five and that is the end of the repeat so if you need additional help just click back on the video you're going to work two single crochet into the next stitch and then one single crochet in each of the next five stitches repeat that around and I'll meet you at the end of round seven I'm over at the end of round seven you should have a total of 42 stitches around, so just do a double stitch count. Grab your instructions, check off round seven is done. Just come over and verify you have 42 stitches. And then I'm just going to highlight that round seven is finished. So now we're ready to do round eight. Again, it starts with a star, so it's going to have a repeat. You're going to work two single crochet into the next single crochet, and then one single crochet in each of the next six single crochet. You're going to repeat from the star, so you go back to the star, repeat the section over and over until you get back to your stitch marker. You're going to increase by six stitches, and you're going to have a total of 48 stitches at the end of round round eight. So let's go ahead and begin round eight. To begin round eight, you're going to single crochet into that first stitch with the stitch marker. Again, remove that stitch marker right away and move it immediately up to that first stitch. Single crochet back into that very first stitch. Then we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next six stitches. Insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet. That is one of six. Single crochet into the next stitch, that's two. Single crochet into the next stitch, that's three. Single crochet into the next stitch, that's four. Single crochet into the next stitch, that's five. And then single crochet into the next stitch, and that's six. So let's do the repeat again. You're going to work two single crochet into the next stitch. One, insert back into that same stitch, work your second single crochet. Now we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next six stitches. Single crochet into the next stitch, that's one. Single crochet into the next stitch, that's two single crochet into the next stitch, that's three, single crochet into the next stitch, that's four, single crochet into the next stitch, that's five, and then single crochet into the next stitch, and that's six. And that is the end of your repeat. So go ahead and continue. If you need additional help, just click back on the video. You're going to work two single crochet into the next stitch, and then one single crochet in each of the next six stitches. Repeat that around, and I'll meet you at the end of round eight. I'm over at the end of round eight. You should have a total of 48 stitches around, so just do a double stitch count real quick. Verify those stitches. Grab your instructions. You're going to check off round eight is finished. You verified you have 48 single crochet, and then you're just going to highlight that round eight is finished. And I just think it makes it so much easier because this project does take a while to make. You're going to get up, you may have to go to the bathroom, you may have to get a drink, you may get a phone call, and when you see it highlighted, when you sit back down to pick up your work, you're going to see very easily where you need to start. So we did our first eight rounds of the head. Now we're going to switch back and we're going to go to page four where we have the head and we're going to check off that we did rounds one through eight and we have a total of 48 single crochet stitches. So just verify that one more time and then just highlight that we did rounds one through eight of the body. So now we're going to begin rounds nine through 14. And if you read the instructions, it's going to say single crochet in each single crochet around. So we're going to work six rounds of working one single crochet in each single crochet around. So let's go ahead and begin round nine. 
For round nine, you're going to insert into the first stitch, work a single crochet. And again, very important that you're always moving the stitch marker up to the first stitch as soon as you make that stitch. Because if you lose this stitch marker, you're going to have a really hard time finding the beginning of the round. You're going to single crochet into the next stitch, single crochet into the next stitch, single crochet into the next stitch, single crochet into the next stitch. You're going to continue and work one single crochet in each stitch around and I'll meet you at the end of round nine. I'm over at the end of round nine. This is what your work is going to look like. You should have a total of 48 single crochet. We did not increase, we did not decrease. This is what your work should look like and you're going to see it's going to start having a dome shape. So again, we're over at the end of round nine. So grab your instructions. And what I do when I get to this round is I'm just going to put a straight line and this tells me I did one of the six rounds. So rounds nine through 14 is a total of six rounds. We did one of the six. So now to continue working on your project, you can just click back on the video. You're going to repeat round nine five more times. Every time you do a round, just put a mark until you have six marks. So again, work round nine five more times, working one single crochet in each single crochet around. I'll meet you at the end of round 14. I'm over at the end of round 14. This is what your work is going to look like. It's going to look like a little bowl. You should have a total of 48 stitches around. Our stitch count remain the same. So grab your instructions. We repeated round nine five additional times. So you have a total of six rounds of single crochet in each single crochet around. Your stitch count remains the same of 48 single crochet because we did not increase and we did not decrease. You're going to check rounds nine through 14 off, verify you have 48 single crochet, and then highlight that you made those rounds and you are finished. So now we are moving on to round 15. You're going to see the star, so it's going to be a repeat. You're going to single crochet two together across the next two stitches. You're going to work one single crochet in each of the next six single crochet. We're going to repeat that from the star, so you return to the star, repeat, return to the star, repeat, until you get back to your beginning stitch marker. You're going to decrease by six stitches and you're going to have a total of 42 single crochet at the end of round 15. So let's go ahead and begin round 15. To begin round 15, I'm gonna take my stitch marker out because I'm decreasing in those first two stitches. You're going to insert into the first stitch, yarn over and pull through. Insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. You single crocheted two together, you decrease by one stitch. Take your stitch marker and immediately put it back into that very first stitch. Now we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next six stitches. Insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet. That's one of six. Single crochet into the next stitch, that's two of six. Single crochet into the next stitch, that's three of six. Single crochet into the next stitch, that's four of six. Single crochet into the next stitch, that's five of six. And then single crochet into the next stitch, and that's six of six, and that is the end of the repeat. Let's do the repeat again. You're going to single crochet two together across the next two stitches. Insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. Insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. You single crochet two together and you decrease by one stitch. Now we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next six stitches. 
single crochet into the next stitch. That's one of six. Single crochet into the next stitch. That's two of six. Single crochet into the next stitch. That's three of six. Single crochet into the next stitch. That's four of six. Single crochet into the next stitch. That's five of six. And then single crochet into the next stitch. And that is six of six. So if you need additional help, just click back on the video, repeat that around, and I'll meet you at the end of round 15. I'm over at the end of round 15. You should have a total of 42 stitches around. So just do a double stitch count, grab your instructions, check off round 15 is finished, come over, verify that you have 42 single crochet, and then use your highlighter and mark off round 15 is finished. So now we're ready to begin round 16. Again, it starts with a star, so we're going to repeat this section. You're going to single crochet two together across the next two stitches, and then single crochet in each of the next five single crochet. You're going to repeat from the star, so you go back and you repeat this section over and over until you get back to your beginning stitch marker. We're going to decrease by six stitches, and at the end of round 16, you should have 30 36 single crochet. So let's begin round 16. To begin round 16, I'm going to take my stitch marker out because we are decreasing. It's easier if the stitch marker is out. You're going to insert into the first stitch, yarn over and pull through. Insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. You single crochet two together and you decrease by one stitch. Grab your stitch marker and put it into that first stitch. Now we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next five stitches. Insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet. That's one of five. Single crochet into the next stitch, that's two of five single crochet into the next stitch, that's three, single crochet into the next stitch, that's four, and then single crochet into the next stitch, and that's five. And that is the end of the repeat. Let's do the repeat again. We're going to single crochet two together across the next two stitches. Insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. Insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Now we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next five stitches. Insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet. That's one of five. Single crochet into the next stitch. That's two. Single crochet into the next stitch. That's three single crochet into the next stitch, that's four, and then single crochet into the next stitch, and that's five. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead, if you need additional help, just click back on the video. You're going to work single crochet two together across the next two stitches. Then you're going to work one single crochet in each of the next five stitches. Repeat that around and I'll meet you at the end of round 16. I'm over at the end of round 16. You're going to notice the top of your head is going to get smaller as we keep working. You should have a total of 36 stitches around. Grab your instructions, check off round 16 is finished, Verify you have 36 single crochet, and then use your highlighter and highlight that round 16 is finished. Now we're going to begin round 17, and again you're going to see the star, and we're going to single crochet two together, and then single crochet one single crochet in each of the next four single crochet. You're going to repeat from the star, so go back to the star and repeat this section, over and over until you get back to your stitch marker. We're going to decrease by six stitches and you're going to have a total of 30 single crochet at the end of round 17. So let's go ahead and begin round 17. Because we're going to single crochet two together, I'm going to take my stitch marker out, 
you're going to insert into the very first stitch, yarn over and pull through. Insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. You single crochet two together, you decrease by one stitch. Move your stitch marker up to that very first stitch. Now we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next four stitches. Single crochet into the next stitch. That's one of four. Single crochet into the next stitch. That's two. Single crochet into the next stitch. That's three. And then single crochet into the next stitch. And that's four. And that is the end of the repeat. Let's do the repeat again. We're going to single crochet two together across the next two stitches. Insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. Insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. You single crochet two together and you decrease by one stitch. Now we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next four stitches single crochet into the next stitch that's one single crochet into the next stitch that's two single crochet into the next stitch that's three and then single crochet into the next stitch and that's four and that is the end of your repeat so if you need additional help just click back on the video you're going to single crochet two together across the next two stitches and then you're going to work one single crochet in each of the next four stitches. Repeat that around and I'll meet you at the end of round 17. I'm over at the end of round 17. This is what the head is going to look like. So now you should have 30 stitches around. So I'm going to go back to my instructions. So I am going to check off round 17 is done. I verified I have 30 stitches. And then I'm just going to use my highlighter and highlight that round is finished. So now when you read the instructions, it's going to tell you to sew the nose to the head, leaving an opening on one side of the nose for stuffing. Stuff nose and sew closed. Now usually I always sew my parts on after I am done stuffing and putting it together. So the thing that confused me about the instructions is it's telling you to sew the nose on, but it's not telling you where. So then when you read the instructions at the end, it says finishing, it's telling you to sew your ears to and the nose to the head. So now it's telling you to sew the nose to the head here, but it's also telling you to sew the nose to the head after you get everything else put together. So I'm not sure about the instructions. So because it's not telling us you know, where to sew the nose. It just says sew on. So if you've never done amigurumi, never done a stuffed toy, it's like, okay, where do I sew it? Is this the top? Is this the bottom? So I am assuming we are working from the top down because it doesn't tell us. So what I did, this is the first time I'm making this bunny myself. So we're making it together for the first time. The one bunny that I could count the rounds I started up here. So if you look at this picture very closely, you can count the rounds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I see the top of the nose is right at the top of round 11. This is the bottom of round 10 right here. So there's 10 rounds from the top of the head to the top of the nose that I can see. So I am going to assume that the nose is sewn where the top of the nose is right at the top of round 11 and I'm seeing about six maybe five or six rounds so I am going to sew my nose between round 11 and round 16. So when I fastened off this little piece here where I started I'm just going to leave that in there I can just use that as part of the stuffing I always leave a sewing length on my pieces and hopefully you did as well but it's all up to you of how you like to attach your pieces so I'm going to attach the end of this yarn to my needle and I tried to leave a long enough length that I had plenty of yarn to sew on my nose so now the next thing you need is take your head 
I'm just going to pull up a loop so I don't lose my spot. So take your hook and just pull up a big loop. That way it's not going to rip out. Then you're going to flip your head over. So what I like to do is I'm going to go to the opposite side than my stitch marker. So I'm going to use this for the back of the head and you're just going to come around to the front. So you can eyeball it. It's, it's kind of hard to do that on camera. This is the back. I'm just going over into the front. So we're on round 17 right now. So I'm going between round 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, and 11. So you may even be able to move it up one. So I'm just going to try to position my nose. And you can refer to the photo. So I'm putting the flat part here up on top. So I'm just going to take the flat part and bring the bottom part right where I have my yarn is the center and I'm just going to try to place it. I'm going to go two rounds up and then I'm just going to see if I can get a stitch marker in there and then I'm just going to use a giant stitch marker and I'm just going to put that through there and put it through the nose just to try to hold that nose in place. And then I want to come up and I want to count down. Start at the center. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I want to put it right here at the top of round 11. And I know this is really hard to see. So then I'm just going to take a stitch marker and place it right through the head and the nose. Now you can use any method you prefer. You can base stitch this in place with really big stitches and then it will hold it in place to sew on. And then I'm just going over here. Then I'm going to put a stitch marker over here and try to hold that in place. And then what I want to do is just take my hand and just kind of look at it. And I'm thinking once my eyes are here, the ears are on, that looks about right. And then just position it, take your yarn needle, and we're just going to sew and whip stitch around. So just make sure you have two rounds, one, two. Take your needle down through. Now don't come out too far. You want your stitches to kind of be like underneath. So go under, grab a stitch, and then come up. I'm just going to come up through both loops because I really want that to be nice and secure and then pull tight and then just play with the shaping of the nose as you sew this around. I'm going to go up to the next stitch and just kind of go in wherever it looks like the stitch is and then come back through and I'm going through both of those outside top loops of the stitch and then just make sure you're constantly counting down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You want to make sure that it doesn't go past the top of round eleven. So what I'm going to do, just so I can see that better, I'm going to put a stitch marker right across, right sideways. That way I know do not go above this stitch marker. Now everybody has their own way of assembling their items, so you can use whichever way you prefer. Now remember, don't push down and go through both pieces. Make sure your hand's in between so you do not catch the other side of the head. And then just eyeball it up, go down through the head, and then up through that next stitch. And we're just going to continue doing that around the nose. So go ahead and continue. You're going to go to your next stitch. You're going to eyeball it to the, to the head, put your needle down through, and then come back up through that stitch. So now you want to go ahead and attach your nose in the way I showed you or in your preferred method. Go all the way around until you're about two inches and then stuff the nose and then finish sewing it closed. But make sure you stuff the nose before you go completely around the nose. I'll meet you when I get my nose attached. 
So I am almost done sewing my nose on. I'm going to take my stitch marker out. I have a small opening here. And we're just going to take a little bit of stuffing. And you want to put some stuffing inside that nose. Now that might be a little too much, but let me take a look. You just have to eyeball it up. So that's a little too full. I'm going to take just a little bit out of there. And then once your nose is stuffed and you feel it's pretty firm and nice, once your nose is stuffed, then you just want to finish sewing it closed. So our eyes are attached, and now we're going to go ahead, grab our instructions. So you can check off, you sewed the nose, you attached your safety eyes. So now it's telling us to stuff the head and continue working as follows. Now I'm going to work a couple more rounds because it's easier to work without the stuffing in the head. So I think we can work two more rounds before we stuff the head. So we're going to go to round 18. So round 18, you're going to see the star, so it's going to be a repeat. You're going to single crochet two together across the next two stitches, and then single crochet in each of the next three single crochet. You're going to repeat from the star around, so go back to the star, repeat this section over and over until you get back to your beginning stitch marker. Now when you looked at the last row, we had 30 stitches. We're going to decrease by six stitches and you're going to have a total of 24 single crochet at the end of round 18. So let's go ahead and begin round 18. Now because we're single crocheting two together, I'm going to take my stitch marker out. We're going to begin with single crochet two together across the next two stitches. Insert your hook into the next stitch yarn over and pull through. Insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Now we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet. That is one of three. Single crochet into the next stitch, that's two, and then single crochet into the next stitch, and that's three. Let's do the repeat again. We're going to single crochet two together across the next two stitches. Insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. Insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Now we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Single crochet into the next stitch, that's one. Single crochet into the next stitch, that's two. And then single crochet into the next stitch, and that's three. And that is the end of your repeat. If you need additional help, just click back on the video. You're going to work a single crochet two together across the next two stitches. Then you're going to work one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. So go ahead and continue around. Now I just noticed that I forgot to put my stitch marker into that first stitch. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to count back to the beginning. So because we made two repeats, I know that we single crocheted in three stitches, one, two, three. Then we had our two single crochet together. Then you have one, two, three stitches, and then your single crochet two together. So this is the stitch that I need to get that stitch marker in. So I'm sorry if any of you forgot to put your stitch marker in. That's the most important part of this pattern, because if you went further, you would not know where your beginning was. So hopefully you can find your beginning. Again, we only did two repeats. So count back three stitches, the single crochet two together is that double stitch, three single crochet. So basically it's eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put it in the eighth stitch. 
Now let me show you the repeat one more time since I got sidetracked trying to find the beginning. You're going to single crochet two together across the next two stitches. Insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. Insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Now we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Single crochet into the next stitch, that's one. Single crochet into the next stitch, that's two. And then single crochet into the next stitch, and that's three. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and continue single crochet two together across the next two stitches, and then work one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Continue around until you get back over to your beginning stitch marker, and I'll meet you at the end of round 18. I'm over at the end of round 18 and you'll notice the hole in the head is going to keep getting smaller. You're going to have a total of 24 stitches around. Grab your instructions, check off, round 18 is finished, confirm that you have 24 single crochet around, and then go ahead and use your highlighter and mark that round 18 is finished. So now we're moving on to round 19. For round 19, you're going to see the star. We're going to single crochet two together across the next two stitches, and then one single crochet in each of the next two single crochet. We're going to repeat from the star. Just keep repeating that segment around until you get to your beginning stitch marker. We're decreasing by six stitches. You're going to have a total of 18 single crochet at the end of round 19. So let's go ahead and begin round 19. To begin round 19, I'm going to take my stitch marker out. We're going to work single crochet two together across the next two stitches. Insert into the first stitch, yarn over and pull through. Insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Then immediately put your stitch marker into that very first stitch. Now we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. Single crochet into the next stitch, that's one. Single crochet into the next stitch, and that's two and that is the end of the repeat. So let's do the repeat again. We're going to single crochet two together across the next two stitches, insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. Insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Now we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. Insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet. Insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. If you need additional help, just click back on the video. Again, you're going to single crochet two together across the next two stitches. Then you're going to work one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. Repeat that around, and I'll meet you at the end of round 19. I'm over at the end of round 19. You can see we're getting smaller and smaller around the bottom of the head. You should have a total of 18 stitches around. So grab your instructions. Check off round 19 is finished. Confirm that you have 18 stitches. And then go ahead and highlight that round 19 is finished. So now our hole is getting smaller, so I think I'll go ahead and stuff my head here at the end of round 19. So grab your stuffing and start stuffing your head. So I have my stuffing and I'm just going to put a little bit in at a time. Now I did forget to pull up a loop, so make sure you pull up a loop before you start so your work does not rip out. And then just start stuffing the head. So I think that looks pretty good. It's not overstuffed. So now we're going to finish the last two rounds and then when we get almost to the end, we can squeeze a little more stuffing in there if you want it a little bit fuller. So grab your instructions and now we're down to round 20. It's telling us 
we're going to have a star, so it's going to be a repeat. We're going to single crochet two together across the next two stitches, and then one single crochet into the next stitch. We're going to repeat that around. We're going to decrease by six stitches, and you're going to have a total of 12 single crochet at the end of round 20. So let's begin round 20. To begin round 20, I'm going to take my stitch marker out. We're going to single crochet two together across the next two stitches. Insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. Insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. You single crochet two together and you decrease by one stitch. You're going to work one single crochet into the next stitch. And that is the end of the repeat. Now remember when you're working these stitches and we're pulling those stitches together, you have to look and see where your last stitch was made because it almost looks like you should go here, but we already worked in that stitch. So make sure you're going into the correct stitch. We're going to single crochet two together across the next two stitches, insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. Insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Then you're going to work one single crochet into the next stitch. And that is the end of the repeat. And I did it again. I forgot to put my stitch marker in. Oh my goodness. So sorry about that. Again, we did two repeats. So you're going to count back four stitches because we did a single crochet two together. It's one stitch. We did two repeats. So count back one, two, three, four, and put your stitch marker into that fourth stitch if you forgot to put your stitch marker in. I'm so sorry about that. I laid it right there so I could remember. See how easy it is to forget? So very important to move that stitch marker up. Again, if you forgot to put it in, just count the top of your stitches back, four stitches, one, two, three, four, and insert that stitch marker. So let's do the repeat one more time. You're going to single crochet two together across the next two stitches. Insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. Insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Then you're going to work one single crochet into the next stitch. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and continue. Work a single crochet two together across the next two stitches and then one single crochet into the next stitch. Repeat that around to your stitch marker, and I'll meet you at the end of round 20. I'm over at the end of round 20. You should have a total of 12 single crochet around. Now, I pulled up a loop because this is where, if you need more stuffing, this is the time to put it in before we do our last round. So just look at the head, see if it's too firm, if there's not enough stuffing. So I'm going to add just a little bit more stuffing to my head. Just going to stuff it in there so it does not have a weakness when I sew it to the body. So you just want to make sure it has nice amount of stuffing. Just make sure you use your hand and spread that stuffing out because again, when you pull this tight, you want to make sure this is nice and firm so the neck is not kind of like wobbly when you sew it to the body. I think that looks good. So again, we just completed round 20, so I'm going to check it off. I confirmed I had 12 single crochet, and then I'm just going to highlight that that round is finished. So now we have one round to go, round 21. So when you look at round 20, it has the star. So all we're going to do is repeat single crochet two together, and we're going to decrease by six stitches, and you're going to have a total of six single crochet when you're at the end of round 21. So let's go ahead and work round 21. I'm going to take my stitch marker out. Again, we're going to single crochet two together. You're going to insert into the first stitch, yarn over and pull through. 
insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Then you want to place your stitch marker into that first stitch. So I'm just going to work this entire round with you. We're going to do that five more times. You're going to insert into the next stitch and you just have to kind of like push down on the head and use your fingers to get in those stitches. Yarn over and pull through. Insert into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Let's do it again. Go to your next stitch. Insert into the next stitch yarn over and pull through. Insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Swing your head around. We're going to work single crochet two together again. Insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. Insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. So we have two repeats to go. We're going to single crochet two together again, insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. Insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. So we have two stitches remaining and then our stitch marker. We're going to work a single crochet two together, insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. Insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. So we're back over to our beginning stitch marker. So you want to grab your instructions, check off round 21 is done, confirm you have six single crochet, and then we're going to highlight that that round is finished. So then when you read your instructions, it says place yarn on a tapestry needle. Thread through each of the six remaining single crochet. Draw up to close secure end. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my stitch marker out because we no longer need the stitch marker. Now again, I do not like the stitch sticking up, so when I know that a portion of the bunny is done, the head is done, I'm going to slip stitch into that first stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through the loop on my hook. So now what you want to do is you want to cut off a long length. And this is your sewing length. It does not tell you to do that, but this is how I do it. I cut off a long length. And then I'm just going to chain one. And then I'm going to pull that yarn slowly through that stitch. And then you just want to pull it down. And it just helps secure that. You still have a hole, so now you're going to grab your yarn needle. You want to thread that long sewing length onto the yarn needle. And then what it's telling you to do is take your yarn needle and you want to go in and out through those stitches. And then it's telling you to pull that tight. And you can see it closes up the bottom of the head. And then it tells you to secure your end. So I just take my yarn needle down through one stitch I bring it back up until I have a loop. Once you have a loop, take your yarn needle through the loop and then pull it down. And then what I like to do is I like to take my yarn needle and I go under the stitches. I'm going underneath the two strands, but I'm still in the stitch. I'm not going down into the head and stuffing. You want to make sure that your needle is under the stitches. And then I just go through some stitches. I'm going to do a couple more. I'm going to go through two more strands. And then what I like to do is I like to skip one strand and come back in the opposite direction. And then because I have a pretty long sewing length, then I'm just going to skip a strand and go back 
through a third time. And this is how I weave in my ends on all my projects. And then you can just take your yarn needle off of this sewing length and you can use this sewing length to sew the head onto the body and we'll be doing that later. So we'll also put the final details on the nose when we're all finished with the other pieces. So that is it for part two for today's crochet along for the fruits bunny. I know these videos are long. I am trying to really go in detail to help anyone who has never made a stuffed toy before. So I hope you are enjoying these videos. If you enjoy these types of videos, please make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the crochet fun. So thank you everybody for stopping by. Make sure you come back for part three where we're going to do the ears. So until next time, stay inspired and happy crocheting. Bye everyone.